Hello. Hello. Welcome. Do you have any room available? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. I take one one room for okay. one night. Yes. and welcome back to Pattaya. We have some budget hotels to look at today and we have some errands to do and just a little bit of running around as we have the morning merit here at the Ratana Corn Market. Uh, v had a couple rough days after her last round of chemo. I think she's back on track now. I'll talk a little bit about that later. It was something else but you know this never ceases to amaze me. One of the things I love about here you know even something as I don't know, sacred and ceremonial as, as something like this, just happening right on the street in the midst of a bustling market. Uh, I don't know, I think that's kind of neat. But back to the budget hotels, you know, there's a, a spectrum in every price range of hotel. The budget line is no exception. You have your high end, you have your medium and your, and your low end. So I think we'll look at one of each today. So let's jump into it. So budget hotels, budget hotels. Patia used to have a plethora of budget hotels, but you know, since the pandemic, a lot of them never have reopened, it seems. But I have two today. So this one, interesting story. I have a friend on his way from England. In fact, he just touched down. He's coming here for a month. But he, uh, this hotel would only let him check in, in up to 6 p.m. at night. And he was afraid by the time he got the bus from the airport back here and everything, that it would be later than 6. So. I came by to check in for him. They gave me the key instead, so I can just give it to him when he gets here. Well, it's called the BR, the BR Guest House. And location-wise, both of these I'm gonna show you I think are great locations. But this one specifically, it's right next to my, my pal Rudy's motorcycle shop here, which is right across the street from the city hospital here on Soy Bacal. Now, if you like Soy Boomerang, if you like LK Metro, wow, this is, this is a great convenient location for either of those. However, it is on the small soy. It's not directly on soy bacal, and I'm shielded right now anyway from all the noise on soy bacal. So to a large extent, it seems like that mitigates the noise because of course soy bacal will be noise morning, noon, and night. But what do we have here? I'll show you around the room. It's very basic uh, budget, budget accommodation here. Very simple bathroom, uh, no bathtub, and uh, doesn't even have a shower curtain or shower stall. So everything in the bathroom is gonna get wet when you're in there giving yourself the old once over. You do have a, a, a decent TV, but it's on the small side. I was able to connect to the Wi-Fi. I'll give you the speed in a minute. The bed, is, it's, it's a hard bed. It's, it's a thinner mattress and they make up with that for being a more firm. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a hard bed. If you like that, that's fine, but it's not going to be any kind of soft plush sink in the bed type experience here for as little. I saw this for about 350 baht. So right at about 10 US dollars. Uh, maybe, I don't know, eight, eight pounds, about, about eight quid, something like that. If anytime you get into the $10 range of hotels, your expectations have to go back down. But there is a safety box. There are hangers in the wardrobe. There's a nice little balcony with a table and chair. Uh, there's a refrigerator. So not too bad. Of course, air condition. I've got the air condition running right now. I will mention this. I, I don't believe I've seen this before. The place is so cheap. They do not give you the two bottles of water that you normally get. Now, I've stayed at some very cheap places that used to give me two bottles of water. Enough plugs and outlets. There's one right next to the, to the table here, uh, to the nightstand right there, so you can charge your phone. It's, it's not going to have all the amenities that we're used to in a lot of these places. But I think our guy, he's only going to be here for two nights. He, he checked in here. He was very smart. And I tell people to do this. I recommend this as a modus operandi. Book a place online for one or two nights. So you have a place to go when you get here and you're at your wit's end after your flight. This gives you time then to look around the next day or two, look around and find something that you may like better. Right here, basically on Soy Bacal for 10 bucks. I think it's a deal. So we'll go take a look at the other budget hotel. I think the price is a little bit higher on that one, but you'll see where it's located. It's a, just a short walk to the beach. So that's got to add some money. 
Yes. So I had a lot of running around to do today. It's been a busy weekend. Well, we got back from chemo on Thursday. And uh, wow, V V didn't sleep until Saturday. It kind of like kept her awake. She was almost like a, a zombie walking around. But she got to sleep Saturday afternoon. She's kind of back to her old self Sunday and today Monday. So I went and picked up the new batch of shirts. I'm just delivering them right now to, to, to the Lucky Taylor in the Night Bazaar. We'll come back here in a second. But I also had to go today to Falang Thai Visa and print out some documents. My passport is getting ready to expire. So I made an appointment today. Next month, I go into Bangkok and renew my passport. So I, I drop it off there and I'll, maybe I'll go over that. But if you're here, if you're staying here long term, eventually your passport's going to uh, expire. And that's what you have to do. You have to go to your home country visa, uh, home country embassy in in Bangkok normally. I, I, it could be in Chiang Mai as well. I believe there's a U.S. embassy in Chiang Mai as well. But of course, Bangkok's the one. And then they process that, then they mail it back to you. So thanks for thanks for printing that stuff out for me, uh, Frank Thai Visa. Oh, and they gave me a bottle of wine while I was there. That was nice. So the new shirts are same, same, but different. So it's the front of the last one and then the back of the original. That's what was from the feedback from the customers here. That's the feedback we got and that's what we decided to do and that's what we decided to go with. So they like the front of the one, they like the back of the other. We just combined both of those and made a new shirt. So another thing, it's the end of March. So the next big thing here in Pattaya is Songkran. Uh, starts, I think, the 13th this year, I believe. But either way, during Songkran, the thing to wear is, I guess you would kind of call it a Hawaiian shirt, that kind of thing. Here they call it a Songkran shirt, but it's bright color, uh, usually cotton, uh, cool button down, but bright loud type colors, floral patterns, things like that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But Lucky here, he is making the tailor fit custom-made Songkran shirt. So if you're in town and you want to take part in Songkran, don't just look like some tourist, look like a local. Get yourself a Songkran shirt. But uh, you'll see, everybody will wear it. You'll almost feel, feel out of place if you don't have a Hawaiian type shirt on. You, if you want one and you don't want to worry about finding one to fit you, just come here, he can whip them up. How long? One or two one day, days? One day, just one day. One day. Just one day I can make for you. If measure up today, tomorrow, same time, can pick it up. See that? So you come in, you get measured, the next day you pick it up. So uh, even if you're just coming into town and you get in here the first day of Songkran, he can have it to you by the second day of Songkran. And the thing is, Songkran here in Pattaya lasts like a week. <laughs> yeah, you one week so it's too long here. It's too long here. <laughs> We're at the second hotel, very unlikely place for a budget hotel, Soy 7. We've been to this budget hotel before, it was called the JP Inn, maybe last year, before everything got reopened here on Soy 7. And right by Second Road, you can literally fall out of this hotel on the Second Road and grab your bot bus. There's all kind of little eateries and there's bars, of course. But we'll go in and take a look at this, it's under new ownership now, same guy that owns all these bars, owns the hotel. So I think there's good synergy with that if you have a bunch of bars. And right across the street, you have a hotel with rooms for guests that maybe are a little in, too inebriated to go back home. That, that might be one reason it would be good to have rooms. Let's go in and uh, see if they have any rooms available. And this, this one's going to be 600 a night. The other one's closer to 400 a night, a little bit more. But I still think definitely by far into the budget range. Hello. Hello, welcome. Do you have any room available? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. I take one one room for okay. one night. Yes. So I can almost hear it now. Well, the first one was just a little bit too cheap. It's just a little bit too budget. And I get that. Don't even have bottles of water. 
this is more what you would expect. So at 600 baht a night, you do get the bottles of water. <laughs> you get actually a pretty spacious room here, and the bed is much, not just a little bit, well, I, okay, a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit softer. The other bed was very hard. This is like a medium hard. But it's a thicker mattress, so I think that counts for something. And the quality of the bedding and everything looks just a little bit higher than that, that last one. Of course, the room's air conditioned. The washroom looks freshly renovated, small. Here again, no shower curtain, but you do have everything you'd expect in there. This is a corner room, great light here, and even a balcony. We had a balcony on the last one, but you don't always get a balcony on budget hotels. But I, I think a lot of people that come here want a balcony, at a minimum. Uh, I tested the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is very good. I'll put that up on the screen so you can see the test up and down. I'm only on the third floor here. There's, this looks like a very small hotel from the outside because it's just one little unit and you walk in. But it's the entire building. You go upstairs and you get these big halls and I think five floors. There's 36 rooms in here. So it's, I would say it's it, the last hotel. I believe there was only uh, maybe eight rooms or something. So it is quite sizable. And they also have uh, rooms for the hour. I guess that's if just somebody wants to take a nap for an hour in the afternoon. 300 baht. I got a great view down here of the new hotel that we looked at, the Somerset. And I can see beyond that to the edge. I get a, a nice view down Second Road. I'm a little bit concerned about the bar noise at night, especially only being here on the third floor. Now, I'm not actually staying here. I just did that for a little show. But I am just going through here to see because my friend owns the place. And I'd been here through here before, but he says it's been fixed up, it's different. And I think for this neighborhood, for a price like this, there, there's some other options down here we've looked at. We've looked at Flipper House, we've looked at Blackwoods. Blackwoods is probably three times as much. Flipper House, at least this and half again. In terms of what's available on Soy 7, this would be your, one of your lower cost options. So, Also on this block of Second Road, you, you go down to the Somerset, that would probably be your closest option uh, for anything outside of Soy 7. So, Patia Klang right behind me. Of course, the Bot bus is right here on Second Road. So, a very good stay. I think you could probably walk the Central Festival down here where there's everything in, in the world to eat in probably under five minutes. So, it's very walking friendly. It's very public transportation friendly. It's very centrally located for those of you coming here on holiday. But like I said, the budget hotels here really took a hit. Really took a hit. And then you have big places like the Somerset that open. The, Grand Center Point Space that opened these kind of more high-end hotels. For every budget hotel that closed, it seems another high-end one opened. So there's a couple options. There are still many. I don't want to scare you. There's still many. But just a couple options here. And the uh, A7 Hotel here on Soy 7 and Second Road, not a bad option. So there you go. A couple budget hotels spanning the range as I go in here to try out a bowl of ramen. Been wanting to go here for a while. But anyway, monthly rates usually apply at these places. You have to ask at the front desk. For example, the last place, the A7, they've got monthly rates, but they're different. So if you want one month, it's one rate. If you want two or three months, it's a lower rate. So that will depend, but somewhere probably in the 10 to 14,000 baht range per month at these type of places. And also, the A7 tells me, hey, we just got a new Wi-Fi coming uh, two days after I was there. I thought it was pretty good at 100, about 100 megabytes up and down. It's supposed to be like way more than that. So if you need good Wi-Fi, that, that's going to be a good option. I enjoyed the ramen here. I've been wanting to eat at this place. V and I ate next door at a Japanese-themed place ah, many months ago. And I wanted the ramen, but I've never got a chance to go over until today. So I'll enjoy it. But anyway, something else right here in Patia next time. But for this one, got to leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.